Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is The Lollipop and today we have a bit of a different video because instead of talking about new bikes that are just coming out, I'm going to talk about bikes that are going away. So I'm sure a lot of you have seen all the sales happening in the biking world right now. An insane amount of Trek bikes are being heavily discounted, so right now is the time to buy. And on top of that, Trek is officially discontinuing a lot of models in their range for 2023. So in this video, I'll cover all of those so you can get them before it's too late. I'll also let you know my thoughts on why Trek may have stopped making these bikes, but let's get right into it. I'm going to organize this by talking about different types of bikes at a time, starting off with, of course, mountain bikes, and then I'll move on to the hybrids and finish it off with the road bikes. Okay, for mountain bikes, the first bike that is being discontinued is actually an entire line of bikes, and that is unfortunately the Trek Remedy bikes. There were only a few bikes in the range anyway with the Trek Remedy 7, Remedy 8, and Remedy 9.8, but all three of these are now on sale on the Trek website and will be going away forever after they fully sell out. I don't think Trek has any plans of continuing this range in the future, and I kind of saw this one coming since they did not update the frame on this bike since 2019, but yeah, unfortunately we will no longer have any 27.5 inch wheel mountain bikes in the Trek range, which is a crazy thought, but hopefully they'll release a new model or something in the future for those of us that prefer the smaller wheel size. Alright, next up we actually have the Trek Fuel EX. Yes, the Fuel EX is being discontinued. Okay, I'm exaggerating a bit. It's only the Trek Fuel EX Gen 5 bikes. Since Trek just came out with the brand new redesigned Gen 6 Fuel EX bikes, they're going to essentially sell out of the remaining Gen 5 models, and that will be it for those ones. So if you do want the previous generation Fuel EX aluminum and carbon models, now is the time to buy. The new one is a lot better in a lot of ways, so this change makes sense, but the Gen 5 bikes are cheaper, so if you are on a budget, that could be a good reason to pick one up right now, and they're still pretty good trail bikes. Moving on, we also have some electric mountain bikes going away, and this one makes a lot of sense since it is the Trek E caliber. This entire range is being discontinued and includes the Gen 1 and Gen 2 versions of this bike, and you can see all of these are on sale right now since this will pretty much be the last of the inventory. And this change makes sense since these bikes didn't really sell all that well. They're essentially cross-country bikes with an electric motor, which makes them lighter than other e-bikes, but not by a whole lot. And although they could be cool, it seems like most people just prefer going with the electric trail mountain bikes like the Trek Rail or the Trek Powerfly over these ones. Next, this is a much less expensive model, but the Trek 820 is being phased out. And a lot of you may not have even heard of this one, but it's essentially an externally routed steel frame. Not really a mountain bike, but it used to be called one a long time ago. Uh, it's really just an old design, and it's about time to get rid of this one. Both the men's and women's versions of this bike will likely be discontinued pretty soon. And that's pretty much it for the mountain bikes, but once again, there are still a lot of sales going around since a lot of the older generation models of each bike are being discontinued. So you can get a Gen 2 or Gen 3 Trek Rail for much cheaper, or a lot of the Slash bikes, Top Fuels, and many, many more if you don't need the absolute newest bikes out there. Okay, but for the hybrid style bikes, the first one going away is the Trek 520 and the 520 Grando. These actually are not even on the website anymore, but they were essentially touring bikes where you could carry a lot of bags and cargo on a road or hybrid style of bike. And some of my coworkers actually really liked this bike, and it did use a steel frame as well, and some retro styling in some cases. But my guess is that it may not have been selling that well either. Or Trek wanted people to focus more on their new checkpoint bikes for touring since they now have multiple mounting points for carrying cargo. This bike actually was the longest running model in Trek's lineup, so it's sad to see it go, but it does make some sense. Next, we have the FX Sport 4, and not the new one, but the older 2021 model that uses the old frame. Now, I'm not 100% sure on this one, but I'm pretty certain that Trek won't be making any more of these after they sell out of their current stock, since we have the new updated design for the FX Sport bikes. So get this one while you still can if you're interested. Next up, we have an e-bike, and actually the most expensive hybrid or commuter e-bike that Trek makes, which is the Alant Plus 9.9S. This bike was actually updated pretty recently from the previous gray and red one we used to have, so it now comes in this sparkly black color, but either way, it is being discontinued, so if you want the most expensive commuter bike out there, this is your last chance. So those are the main models I am more sure about, but I do have some speculations on the Trek Dual Sports as well, specifically the older Gen 4 versions, since Trek just released the redesigned Gen 5 Dual Sport bikes. Based on the website currently, it seems like they may want to hold on to the Trek Dual Sport 4 Gen 4 a little longer, since there is no Gen 5 version of this bike, but the other three Gen 4 models are on sale now and may disappear for good after they run out of stock. 
I'm thinking that Trek may keep these for a little longer since it seems like there are a good amount of people out there that prefer the Gen 4 with the suspension, but I think they will ultimately try to slowly remove them from the lineup. Alright, but for the road bikes finally, we actually have one model I'm noticing is going away for sure, which is the electric road bike version of the Domani, which is the Domani Plus LT. This entire range will be discontinued, but we do have the new Domani Plus bikes that will replace those and are much better, so this makes sense. But for my speculations, I do think Trek will phase out the previous Gen 6 Madone models as well, since those have been in the lineup for a long time and are all on sale now. But so far, it looks like they may hold on to them a little bit longer before completely stopping sales of those bikes. And one last note, there are a lot of Electra branded bikes being discontinued as well. And these are technically Trek bikes since Trek owns Electra, but I won't go over those in this video since I want to focus on Trek. Let me know though in the comments below if you do want to see that video. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. And with that, I hope all of you have a great day today, and remember to keep biking.